in this video i'm going to show you how to track an iphone even when it's turned off so you can actually know exactly its location and be able to locate it and grab your iphone or if your iphone has been stolen this is a very important tutorial that counts on the new apple feature that allows you to track your iphone even when it's turned off without any further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial what's going on youtube you're watching fixed by shack and in this channel i provide you cool tech hacks and fixes so if you're into tech content consider subscribing to the channel in this video i'm going to show you a quick way and simple way of how to track your iphone even when it's turned off in a situation where you have lost your iphone or someone has stolen your iphone but before we jump into the video i'd like to let you guys know that this new feature provided by apple only works on iphone 11 12 13 and iphone 14. so basically it only works on iphone models from iphone 11 and upward if you have an iphone 10 or anything below that unfortunately i'm sorry but this won't work for you and the second thing is that you need to be the owner of the iphone trust me throughout the process you'll actually understand why you need to be the owner of your iphone device without any further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial so here we are giving a look at two iphones in here and you might be asking me shack why do we have two iphones why not just one iphone because we simply want to track one iphone yes i'm going to explain it to you right now so in my case let's say suppose that i've lost this iphone right here which is my personal iphone and i want to track this iphone while it's turned off so in order to track a turned off iphone we need unfortunately to be close to another iphone device which can be a macbook computer an ipad or even an iphone so since it's turned on as soon as it gets closer to any other iphone device it's gonna somehow connect to the other one by means of Bluetooth and actually notify through Apple servers the actual location of your iPhone device. So this is a new feature that has been implemented by iPhone themselves. It's a really cool technology that allows you to track your iPhone even when it's turned off. So you don't have access to the internet, but if you got closer to another iPhone, it will eventually connect to the internet and notify where your iPhone has been found. That's why I have this iPhone here close to this one just to notify while locating our iPhone. So first of all, before losing our iPhone, we need to have a few settings turned on if you do not have them turned on unfortunately you won't be able to track your iphone so if you still have your iphone and you haven't lost yet make sure you turn on the settings right now when you lost your iphone so the first thing we need to do is quickly hop into settings right here tap here on your name where you've got your apple icloud details and then tap here on find my so once you tap on find my you need to make sure that find my iphone is turned on by tapping on find my iphone we've got in here find my iphone turned on you then need to turn on find my network which is very very important this is the new feature that allows you to be nearby devices and to notify you through apple servers themselves so as you guys can see in here participating in the find my network lets you locate this iphone even when it's offline in power reserve mode and after power off super super cool and also make sure you also turn on send last location as it's a really really nice feature to automatically keep on tracking your iPhone now after having all these settings off I'm gonna turn off my iPhone real quick so here I am in order to turn off my iPhone I'm gonna press the volume down button along with the side button and then here we go slide to power off and as you guys can see we've got in here a short description which says iPhone is findable after power power off let me quickly power it off so what actually happens is apple was really smart on this one when your iphone turns on you still have a little bit of battery percentage left on your iphone but your iphone doesn't let you use that battery because it's a recovery battery when your iphone is extremely critically low okay so this battery is the one that remains on your iphone for emergency purposes for locating your iphone and also for other features as well so as you guys can see my iphone is turned off it's not working it's completely turned off 
and then I'm gonna keep it nearby this other iPhone device right here. Now, the next thing we need to do is we can actually track our iPhone from our computer or any other iPhone device, okay? So if you wanna use an iPhone device, it needs to be an iPhone device which is yours or which is connected to your iCloud in order for you to locate it. Or you can sign in into your iCloud by using the phone that you wish to track your iPhone, or you can use a computer, which is a much simple process. In this video, I'll be using the computer and I'll be showing how to do it in your computer. So now let's jump into the computer. So here I am on my computer and in my case, I'm using a MacBook software in here. And in order to perform this, the very first thing we need to do is simply hop into our internet browser and go to icloud.com so if you're using a windows pc do not worry because the process is exactly the same you just need to hop into icloud.com and then tap here on sign in so once you tap on sign in all you need to do is just sign in with your apple id by typing here your apple id and then it's going to ask you for your password type in your password and log in and then it's going to provide you the find my iPhone application. Since I'm using a MacBook, MacBook already comes with an inbuilt application called find my iPhone, which is this one right here that I've quickly launched right here as you guys can see. Okay, so in my case, I'll be using find my iPhone application as it's much simpler, but you can also use the iCloud, simply log into your iCloud device, link to your lost iPhone, and then simply type and then simply launch find my iPhone. So here I am on find my iPhone and as you guys can see we've got in here this tab which says devices. So once we tap here on devices we can actually have the map right here on the right side. And just to make sure guys my iPhone is actually turned off. I'm just uh, showing it to you once again as you guys can see it's turned off. It's not turned on okay at all. This is the other iPhone right here which is the one nearby this one that is actually locating my iPhone and I can actually give a look here on my devices because my iCloud is logged in into this iPhone right here into this MacBook right here and here we go we've got Shaq's iPhone which is my iPhone here located right here at this location right here and you can also see if I tap on this i little icon right here I can have a few more details about the phone over here I'm able to see it's actually battery um, percentage left which is really something close to 19% as we can see in here we don't have an exact number but we have really low battery right here and we can see that it has been turned on four minutes ago which was the exact time that I did turn off my iPhone I have here an option to turn on directions to find my iPhone I can also play a sound which if I tap in here it's gonna play a sound on my iPhone as soon as it gets closer to iPhone at the moment it's close to an iPhone so it will eventually play a sound and in here if I tap on directions as you guys can see um, I can easily launch up maps and find my iPhone here through maps as you guys can see in here I've got directions to my location right here but since I'm here located at the same location where my iPhone is obviously it won't be a long distance to my iPhone now a very important thing that you guys need to know is that you need to be connected to the internet in order to access in order to track your iPhone that's obvious right so if you lost simply activate this option which says mark has lost and also you can erase your device in order to make sure that your content on your iPhone or private information is actually safe and that nobody can actually access your phone and as you guys can see from time to time it keeps on loading here okay this loading is basically trying to fetch the current location on, of your phone and trying to update its current location. As you guys can see in here, my iPhone is constantly connecting to the other one and actually updating its live location when possible, okay? So this is how it actually works. And if you unfortunately have lost your iPhone, I hope you can actually locate your iPhone with this application feature right here. So this was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. If you find my content useful here on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below so that my content can actually be recommended on the algorithm to reach out to more people and consequently help more people facing the same problem as yours. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.